mechanics in today's video guys we are going to go ahead and show you how to remove the instrument cluster on Dodge Journey or Fiat Fremont guys. So this car is the same car the rest of the world is known as Fiat Fremont in the US, Canada I think is known as Dodge Journey. So let me show you now guys, okay, I'm talking about the instrument gauges, okay, instrument cluster right here. Okay, that thing, how to remove the whole thing. So. We have guys more than 200 videos on the car, so please guys subscribe to the channel for more videos, quite a few videos will be made, our mission is to save you as much money as we can, so let's go ahead and start on it now. So, we have a plastic panel removal tool right here, there is one clip, okay, so we have to gently, okay, pull that thing out, usually there is two clips here, our scam loose already, okay, there is one clip over here on top, Okay, so that's what I'm trying to do now. Okay guys, this is it. This is the clip here, two clips right there. And that piece is out of the way now. So we're going to move the steering wheel all the way to the back with the plastic too. Okay, this trim needs to come out. There is one, two clips and one round one here. So, we'll go ahead, pull it out. Okay, like that. Now with the same two, okay, I'm going to come right here. Okay, and pull a few clips out. Okay, out of here. So we have something holding on the bottom here, it looks like. So now, what I would recommend, okay, we have to remove that cover, this is part of the uh, airbag system, I would recommend to disconnect your car battery at least one hour before you do that, because you don't want that thing to explode in your face. After that, with a 10 millimeter socket guys, okay, you can see right here we have one bolt, okay, this one is out, and then we have one more okay right here after that okay let me show you what we need to do we need to get that two okay and we need to pry okay that cover open Okay, on this side, it's ready to go. Now, we need to go ahead and do uh, this side right here. Okay, perfect. You can see, like that. Now there is one more, okay, over here. But we don't need to worry about this one. Now, okay, we can go ahead and grab that piece back. Okay, like that. And now we have one, two screws that we need to remove with a Torx screwdriver like this one here. Torx 15. You have to have, okay, the battery disconnected of the vehicle. Okay, one more on this side here. Perfect. Now, we need to go ahead. Okay, let me see now if anything else is holding or we just have a few clips. 
Yep, like that. So we have the wiring harness on the back. Okay, you can see right here. We need to press down. Okay, right here. Okay guys, and we can pull it out like that. So thank you guys for watching, that's how you remove it. Uh, we'll have uh, videos for programming as well, please check them out. Thank you for watching, see you guys next time.